Hey guys, what's up? It's iPhone here, and today we're actually going to be taking a look at how I customize my Excalibur Warframe in Warframe. That makes total sense. I really need to rethink my intros, but whatever. Okay, so we're going to be taking a look at how to basically customize my Excalibur Warframe, or how I do it. But uh, please do keep in mind, you should always try to make your own design before some copying someone else's, because it's just not original, like, you know, someone could see you in a survival or whatever and say, oh, you're a Flynn fanboy for copying his colors, but... Oh my god, I have people. I started playing... Okay, yep, you can get invited. I'm sorry, I left the game on, and, you know, I get the messages from people, so... Yeah, so... Excalibur, I'm going to take the primary and the secondary off. Actually, you know, it looks pretty badass standing with the secondary, so I'm going to take the melee off. I like these secondaries, I think they look really cool. Sometimes the war the uh, weapons that you have on mech, how cool your Warframe looks, like he's standing up straight with his Axiomatis, they look badass. But, um, alright. So, first off, let's uh, make a default. So we've got our default colors and stuff. Default Excalibur. First off, before you customize any frame, I do suggest in choosing a different skin. So, you see we have Excalibur Immortal, Pro. Uh, Prisma. I like the Immortal, and the reason I like the Immortal is because it gives me a lot more uh, like pattern to work with. Whereas the normal Excalibur skin and the Proto armor, they don't because you know some of it you can't customize. So that's why I like having the Immortal skin, just because it gives me more of a variety on what I can actually customize. So I take a look at it and I'm like, okay, how, how do I want to do this? So if we go back, I, I always choose my main color first. Your primary color is going to be the majority of your frame. And you should always play around with this and see which ones work. Uh, I do recommend going for different shades of colors. Like you see how like the difference between these whites. One's really glowy and the other one's just like a nice sort of white. So I usually go for something in between. Uh, you might not be able to see it from what you're watching it on. But this is the type of white that I would be using. And then next up you have your secondary colors. I just choose something that would match in with the white really uh, so obviously black and white I think looks pretty badass so I'd be going with the black and next up I have to choose something that fits with the the black and white again so the main color here the main base so I think around his face it looks pretty badass and you see that he already looks badass already uh, then you just get the option to change around with this here. You can always make it white, you can make it blue, you can make it green, yellow, whatever. Uh, but what I do is I just play around with different shades. I think purple looks cool on them, uh, but because I wanted to go for like a primary look, I went with the Easter color palette and chose that, and then my energy color that as well. So, it looks pretty thin without the attachments on, but whenever you go in and you put your attachments on, course you can put in different uh, cyanthanas and things so I'd be putting on a cyanthana like that there and then what I do is I copy the main colors and then it looks pretty nice so the cyanthana I use is actually the Yomo cyanthana I think it looks pretty cool and chest piece it's really down to you what you want to use I think all the chest pieces look okay with the exception of that one and the Harkonar I don't like how they look on Excalibur but I'd go with the Edo uh, and you could go with the Edo Prime if you have it, but I just stick with the Edo because I like the effect that it gives. And then the, uh, the the arm plates that I have on Excalibur are the Edo Prime, and you can't get those anymore, unfortunately. They are part of the Vault Prime accessories pack, so they were exclusive. And I also put them on the bottom as well. Obviously, you could change those out for like the EOS knees, like so. Well, actually, I do have those on. I have the EOS knees. And then uh, for the shoulder plates, you could put on something like the EOS shoulder plates. Or you could even try putting on the Edo, but it doesn't look as nice. So I'd definitely go with the EOS, EOS, if you don't have the Edo Prime. It doesn't make them look as bulky, but you'd have to change around the base colors of your attachments if you are to put on the normal Edo ones. So what I like to put on is the Edo Prime. Just because it gives him that nice little bit of bulk and then the EOS to make him look like he's nice and light. And uh, a lot of people asked about my Regula, so the front sigil. And this is the actual Zanuka sigil that you put on. You could put your Master Rank sigil on, you could put a Stalker sigil on like I used to have. Uh, 
but this is the Sanuka sigil. I turn the alpha down just a little bit to give it this nice glowy look in the chest. And then uh, I would be putting on my badges, so I usually always have my nightmare badge on, and then I have my clan emblem badge on in the side. And then that's pretty much it, so I put my syndicate regular on the back, which is at the minute is the parent sequence, if I could find it, there it is. And then I turned alpha the whole way down to make the color black, so then you can't see it on his back. And then that's pretty much it. That's why I designed my Excalibur. I think he looks pretty badass. You can also change his stance up so you can make him stand like different Warframes. Excalibur Agile, Noble. You can put Ash Noble, which I think would look pretty cool. Uh, Ash Agile looks pretty cool as well. Necros Noble, I always use this one because of the glowy effect that it has. And uh, yeah, after that, you just go and choose your animation and that's it. So if you enjoyed learning how to make your... Excalibur look like mine, please hit the like button below and you want to see more Warframe videos like this, hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode.